Ahoy there, YouTube! I'm back again today for another Kickstarter critique where I take a look at a different Kickstarter tabletop game project every weekday at 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Get my honest thoughts on how the project is being ran today. I'm very excited to be checking out the 10th most exciting project on all of Kickstarter. Most popular project, I should say, not most exciting. That's Bear Mountain Camping Adventure, a race to the top. Embark on a remarkable journey in Bear Mountain Camping Adventure, the ultimate camping board game for whoa, 90 to 120 minutes to play one to four players ages 14 plus so we're getting a medium weight game here it's raised nearly five hundred thousand dollars they are absolutely crushing it i'm excited to see how they're crushing it. five thousand dollar funding goal okay total lie but whatever they've got five thousand three hundred sixty one backers let's find out why because the main image you know it's it's okay i mean it shows off the meeples i guess and some cards a little bit but honestly it's not much here. Doesn't look like the kind of game you'd expect to see hitting five hundred thousand dollars, which makes me seriously wonder, like, what is the big selling point here? Is this like a, a pre-existing person who's done things before and they're bringing stuff to Kickstarter? Is it a snazzy video? What is moving the needle here? Because I don't see it from the offset. Nothing on the front really makes me go, "Oh wow, I gotta back this." So as always, when you go in the video, three things: Do I want it? Can you do it? How much is it? Let's go. In a world where nature's grandeur meets the thrill of adventure lies the looming shadow of Bear Mountain. And now, you're invited to a... Is it just me, or is it... Like, the sound just seems a little bit off. It almost see, feels like he's a little bit muffled. It's, it's, I can still make it out, but it's, it's hard almost to hear him. Embark that makes a sense. remarkable journey through its untamed wilderness in Bear Mountain Camp. Like, I feel like subtitles would be good here. The adventure. But this won't be any ordinary expedition. To conquer Bear Mountain, you must... Okay, cool. We got a nice looking mountain here board. Everybody's got the player boards. All right, looks good. Venture through the great outdoors, camping in at least one site of every color. At the end of the day, the first brave adventurer to reach the Bear Mountain campsite will be victorious. To complete the journey, travelers must strategically build both their green and blue camping activity decks. Yeah, this definitely, this sound on this just, just just throwing me off. And maybe it's my headphones, I can't tell. Uh, but it's not great sound. By collecting cards, helping them explore new areas. And, and it's to the point where it really makes me notice it a lot while I'm trying to focus in on, like, what's this game about. So there's a green deck and a blue deck. So a dual deck building. And campsites. Upgrade your tent to unique campers to carry more gear and strength. That's an interesting shot. Just a, I, I, I don't dislike it. I don't like it. It's just weird. In each hand, every night, you'll want to carefully decide where to set up camp, as this will determine which activities you'll draw for the next day. Watch the sunset. Gain a fire and a dollar. Add to your thing. Gain three for swimming. Play a board game. Okay. Looks relatively simple. But be warned, while some campsites have incredible benefits, you may accidentally startle a roaming bear, causing you to flee in the wrong direction. Your choices will shape your adventure. Every decision is an opportunity to experience the wonders of Bear Mountain in New I get it. I get why this, uh, well, I get why people really be into this. It definitely feels like it's trying to thematically capture the flavor of camping. And I, 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 like just from the minute and 18 seconds, I feel like it's doing a pretty good job. It has a whole bunch of different camping activities. The artwork's solid. Uh, the text on the cards seemed thematically to make sense. Like if you have a night in on a campfire, you save a little bit of money. I mean, it, it makes sense. New and exciting ways, creating limitless replayability. And when you reach the pinnacle, gaze upon the gorgeous vistas, a testament to your triumph and the memories you've created along the way in Bear Mountain Camping Adventure. So I'm going to be blunt with you here, as I always like to be. I really am shocked this one has $500,000 after that video. It, unless, unless it's all audio issues on my side, that, that video just didn't seem it. You know, if that makes sense. Uh, but anywho, it's raised nearly 500000 bucks, so kudos to them. Uh, and this is first created, 11 back. Sweeter Bear Games is a Midwest-based board game company that strives to make fun and engaging games for everyone to enjoy. So we got, uh, looks like two people here who are going to be able to do customer service, because these three aren't going to do a dang thing. Launch Boom, Pledge Box, and Backer Spaces. Interesting. Uh, what is Bear? So after the video, do I want it? Not really. 
I mean, I'm more intrigued than anything to see how they're getting half a million dollars out of this. And I'm wondering if it's great advertising. Like, I'm just going to make a bold prediction here. I'm going to click on that community tab right now, and there's going to be a particularly high number of new people backing this project and joining Kickstarter, which I find to be incredibly impressive when companies can do this. I'm just making, taking a stab. 707, that's a large number. That That is... That is definitely a large number. Let's let's go compare that to another popular Kickstarter project to see. Now, Fool's Blade, I think, is a bad one to compare it to because that's a that, – so Mistwin, I think, is a good one to compare it to because Mistwin, very popular. It's raised $168,000, so it's, it's got a lot less backers than them, but let's still take a look-see. And it's uh, 31. So 707, that's really impressive. That's a great number. Uh, so whatever they're doing – to market this, I feel like they're crushing it right now. All right, so pack up your gear and hit the trail of this board game adventure. Your main objective will be to camp at the coveted Bear Mountain campsite before any of your fellow explorers throughout the trip. Stuff, things, got it. Theme, uh, why back Bear Mountain Camping Adventure? As a special thank to our Kickstarter backers, we developed an exclusive bonus game called Legends of the Falls, which will never be available in stores after the Kickstarter campaign. This bonus game, bonus game features an exciting new way to play Bear Mountain Camping Adventure with extra components, including a double-sided game board. Wow, that sounds like something you want to mention in that video. Not that I'd be able to hear it particularly well, but still, it'd be great. We're offering exclusive discounted prices on Bear Mountain Camping Adventure and our two expansions, Rough Terrain and Extreme Weather. Once again, two great things to mention in that Kickstarter video. Don't miss out on this opportunity to experience the game and expansions at an unbeatable value. So we're launching not only with the game, but with two expansions and a third box. I'm wondering if this is like upgraded components or something. So I will say that always concerns me. That always scares me a little bit, but they got $500,000. So that scares me a lot less. Be the first to play Bear Mountain Camping Adventure as a reward for supporting the game. We'll be delivering Bear Mountain Camping Adventures to our backers before any retail store. God. First time on Kickstarter, not a problem. Click here. Yeah, you actually needed that. Immersive scenic artwork, simple to learn with many strategies to explore. Unique game mechanic, dual deck building. Yeah, that caught my eye. So I feel like the video did a good job of spotlighting that. Incredibly detailed theming. Every turn is another day full out, uh, out, full of outdoor fun as you decide whether you'd like to park your camper for the night. A perfect balance between deck building, racing, and resource management with a hint of worker placement. Mm, hit me with those buzzwords. Love it. What is included? Four player boards, one game board. I'd love to know the dimensions of both of these. 70 green camping cards, 70 blue camping cards. So only 140 cards. That doesn't seem like much. Um, six reference cards, especially considering... I, I mean, zoom in on these two. I wasn't feeling like a huge difference between the cards that I was seeing. So Legends of the Fall bonus game. So this is an expansion that... No, it's a whole... It's, what is this? It's, it's, it's an expansion, I guess? Because it's not a standalone, I don't think. Who knows? No, I think you need the, the other one. It's confusing a little bit. How to play. Cool, is there a video? No, no, no video, please please i mean this is nice this is good i'll browse through it if i have to but the video is super nice while i'm doing the dishes or wait for my kids to get off the bus here we go what's this review cool full playthrough beautiful and it's from them so i you know fine with me that's what i always say you got a camera strap it up play a full game and they're playing it outside thematically okay whatevs don't care but that's still there's a full gameplay there so you can feel exactly how it plays love that bear mountain camping adventure brings both the relaxation and energizing tension that you expect from a good hiking trip and it does so with a gorgeous design and strategic interactive gameplay <laughs> what does that mean it's relaxing but it's got tension just like a hiking trip What'd you think about that new game? Oh, it was kind of relaxing, a little bit tense. Remind me of a hiking trip. Yeah, it's just it's a weird quote. As an avid outdoor adventure, I was instantly captivated with this game's ability to tap into my adventurous spirit. With its captivating theme and breathtaking visuals, it's possible to resist the lure of this immersive gaming experience. Once again, nothing. Nothing, Burger. This game is as charming as it is thematic with only one way to win. Each player forges their own unique path to making it to Bear Mountain a true representation of it's not the destination, it's the journey. What are these people even saying? What? So I so saying it's thematic. At least th so I feel like all three of these have just pretty much said, yeah, it's thematic. Bear Mountain Camping is an epic adventure, uh, and it pack the camper, pick the site, climb the mountain, put beware. They don't call it Bear Mountain for nothing. Jesus, I hate these quotes. 
Like these don't tell you anything about the dual deck building and how unique it is, or the work of placement, or the t- like. Just a charming game, easy to learn. That I do like that. Easy to learn with gorgeous art makes me want to go camping again. Uh, I'm all in. I'm out on these quotes. So thirty nine dollars. That's a great price. That is a really rock solid starting price, and it looks like you're saving twenty six dollars at least according to the sixty five MSRP. Don't have issues with that. Which means when you jump to the sixty nine dollars. Which comes with its own game mode expansion. Interesting. And then we have the 99 all in, and you're getting three expansions. So we're making four games, four boxes here. Okay. Solid. A little confusing to me, too. Howdy, Huckleberry. Uh, Bear, what's the fear here? I'm just trying to figure out how they got 500 grand. And I think it has to be the marketing. Because nothing here particularly is, like, wowing me. Like, it's amazing. The price is good. Don't get me wrong. Actually, the price is good. Um, but, like, just on a Kickstarter page. Uh, fifth player components. Oh, so now you're telling me what's in the rough the terrain expansion. Fifth player components. Cool. Other components. Expansion extreme weather. A weather board. Weather dice. Wow. Definitely adding some mechanisms going on here. Uh, 13, 13, great. Bonus game, Legends of the Fall. This Kickstarter exclusive provides a new exciting way to play. It utilizes a double-sided game board as well as player boards. Collect waterfalls to activate special abilities and win. It feels like a module with its own board. That's a really... You don't see pledge levels like that terribly often. Like, you see ones where it's like, oh, this is going to add a cooperative variant or a solo variant. But to just say it's like a whole different... I don't know. It's weird. Click here for how to play. Wow, okay. That's uh, cool. It's a PDF. It's a how to play PDF. That's not what I was expecting. Okay. So is this like a, a rule booklet almost? It's just like a short summary of... Interesting. Upgrade the premium wooden upgrade for all tokens. $30 stretch goals. One new camper card. Trade out the mid-sized camper for this one for a different camper ability. Awesome. Two new activity cards. Spot on the UV box. One new camper card. Wow, look at this stretch goal area. That's fun. Lots of stretch goals here. I'd, I'd bump this up higher. And they look like bangers, too. Just more cards. More cards and some, some upgrade components. All right. Social games. Happy Camper, 40K followers on Instagram. Happy Camper, 100 campaign shares on that. 200 shares on Kickstarter launch TikTok. 75 comments on Kickstarter page. Okay. Estimated shipping. So here we go. Final price. Wow, that's a, lo- that's a big lead into the shipping. Uh, once again, I guess they got a lot of new people here. So 15 to 19 dollars. So in and out the door, 55 dollars. That's definitely going to help. Honestly, I feel like that's 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 such a small price compared to a lot of other Kickstarter projects that I feel like a lot of people are just going to pull the pull the trigger on this one. And so that's definitely helping them out. Uh, I still think that yeah, this one has 800. I can't imagine it's the most popular pledge level. I imagine it's probably going to be the one with all the bells, all the whistles. Let's check it out. The kick, yes, yeah, so the one that's a little bit more expensive, the deluxe edition plus the VIP, so 545, uh, two times retailer, all in 3,725. So they did a great job convincing most people that they needed to pay them for everything. And once again, I feel like they did a pretty solid job on that. So 15 left of 3,740, so that definitely seems like some shady bookkeeping there. Uh, I would love to know if you're watching this video in the future. If you click on that link down below and let me know uh, how many VIP specials they have, you know, when you watch this, because I imagine it will be higher than 3,740. So, whatever. All in Deluxe Edition Kickstarter special. Oh, is this where you get the Deluxified components? 167. Thank goodness. Uh, Sanity is prevailing. September 21st, and we're hoping to ship it out May, June. So we're hoping to have it uh, to be a released Gen Con Origins next year-ish. Bunch of people here. All right, looks fine. I kind of want to check out the Board Game Geek page. Very curious about that one. All right, so after the after the page, I mean, yeah, I think the price is right. The video didn't really do it to me, but it did make it look thematic. Is there a solo mode? Yes, we have a fully developed and play-tested solo camping mode. That's super fun. You can find the rules for the solo mode in the back of our rule booklet that's available for download on our campaign page. Cool. All right. 8,100... What? That, that number... That number doesn't seem right. That number seems shady to me. Is that leet? Does that say leet? 
Isn't that how you spell leet in gamer speak? One three three seven. Am I am I, am I missing? I I'm just flabbergasted. Like every single thing about this campaign is making me just like that's that is such an insanely high number of of of, of comments. What are they saying? Oh, vote. Vote for your favorite player boards. Well, yeah, of course. That's what I always tell. Yeah. So here we go. Click and say, oh, wow. We got seven of them to pick from eight of them. Please vote below, which is like the best. That's how you get 1,130, what? 1,311. Okay. I guess I shouldn't be shocked. That's what I always say. Ask people. Ask your fans a question and chances are they will answer or a lot of people will answer and in this case 1337 jiminy christmas that's more responses than all the comments Woo! it's great good for them this game looks great so far i'm really looking forward to updates looking at the cards i was wondering if there's a thematic reasoning behind that resources have to be spent to add them to the deck so they're asking about a gameplay question did the expansions fit in the main box yeah that's important to know uh, I hope it's okay to set an idea to consider. Okay, looks solid. So I'm curious. I just want to check out the uh, the pedigree and see if this designer has a pedigree because they didn't mention it all. Bear Mountain Camping Adventure from Casey Matz. So this is the first game. Wow, okay. My reservations about new publisher. I'm curious because I also, like something here. Something here just doesn't feel right to me. And I look at a lot of Kickstarter projects. I'm hesitant to back this game even though the game sounds and looks good because they're new publishers who have no track record and they're a small husband-wife team. Reminds me of Dan and Connie for the horrible mess with Chai Kickstarter. I guess I would like to know if anyone feels the same. It would also be great. Here's the thing. They're also not making minis. The fact that they're not making minis makes me feel like immediately 15 to 20 percent more comfortable. Because once you add minis into a game, it just it completely changes the dynamic with molds and pricing and all sorts of stuff. Has the game been developed? I back the game and we'll post your comments on Kickstarter. I'll show the answers I see. Well, that's thanks. Nice. Since you have so many reservations already, you should wait for the retail edition. Like, almost, yeah, whatever. They're not doing that. I've had the same concerns. Bad experience with noble people. At the moment, I'm in, but I have serious doubts. And, of course, how novice they are is the biggest red flag I see. On the other hand, if you don't... Okay, got it. I understand your concerns. Uh, it's always a bit of a gamble. Personally, I've backed dozens of Kickstarters. So I'm just curious. Did they answer it? I found it really badly written. It's not even clear to me the structure of a turn, the actions, and the possibilities. Is that the, the definitive manual? Is it a summary? Right now, I'm more out than in. Is that the eight-page thing? Oh, no, this is its own separate thing. So 19 pages. Okay. So hopefully we've got the components set up. All right, that looks solid. All right, back of the rule booklet. Did they use it wisely? No, absolute garbage, complete waste of time. Um... Okay, but that doesn't necessarily mean the end of the world. All right, I gotta give this one a final grade. Do I want it? I mean, it looks fine. It looks. It, I would like to try it. I would like to try it. I like the theme. So yeah-ish. Can you do it? You have five hundred thousand dollars, and you need to make, you know, what what essentially would amount to a six thousand print run of the base game. Well, let's see. So yeah, I. I they have enough money that it should not be an issue getting this made, especially if they're going through the same manufacturer with all four of them. None of their components look like outlandish or crazy or complicated that, that some, you know, that their manufacturer should have issues with it. So that all makes me feel really good and comfortable. Uh, so yes, yeah, cool. All the bar tokens. Those look cool. So far. So can you do it? Yeah. I don't know. My spidey sense is just tingling and it shouldn't be because I got 500 grand. But it still is. But I'm going to give them a thumbs up. Then how much is it? Very reasonably priced. And I feel like they did a great job of scaffolding their prices. So I, the, the core game, I say, hey, that's a reasonable price. And the core game with the expansion, I say, hey, that's a reasonable price. And then they spring it all together. So I'm essentially getting the core game and three expansions for $99. That is a super reasonable price. Um, so, yeah, I, I'm, I'm in. And it's a, it's a positive grade, I suppose. I still don't feel like the main image looks great. And I still... I still am just, my, my spidey sense is tingling on this one. I hope I'm wrong. 100% hope I'm wrong. Uh, but at the end of the day, I think the final grade is, um, B. I'm going to go with a B minus just because, because my spidey sense, but there's a gameplay video. There's a rule booklet. I would read it 
you know that that's the person saying it kind of sucks on uh the, the board game geek oh hello this is casey with sweet and bear games and i just want to pop on here and say we really hear you we absolutely understand your reservations about first-time creators i want to assure you that we often share your sentiment as this is our debut game we want to make sure our backers have the best experience and stayed on here we are making sure to partner with the best in the industry when it comes to manufacturing fulfillment uh they didn't address their rule booklet at all and I didn't, I didn't, where did, where was this rule booklet on the page? Because I normally like to click on that, and I did not see it. Was it in the FAQ? So, so what's the difference if I'm going to get the mini pets expansion if I'm not a VIP? Will it be, hmm. All right, final grade, uh, yeah, B minus. I still, I, uh, I hate to say this. I hate to say this. I used to do this thing where I would make a prediction about how this game is going to be received when it comes out. And I just, I, I'm concerned a little bit about this one. I don't know why. B minus. Let me know in the comments below what's your final grade. Have yourself a great weekend. And as always, if you're enjoying the content, please be sure to, uh, to do the, the, the one thing that I normally say, but I'm totally out of it. Long week. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, I didn't even hit the button. I did hit the button. I knew it. My computer's acting weird.